Grade 5, Module 1, Lesson 16, Problem Set, Number 1, A and B. Solving Word Problems Using Decimal Operations. The question reads, Mr. Fry distributed 126 dollars equally among his four children for their weekly allowance. A asks, how much money did each child receive? So we need to figure out what we know from reading the question. We know that Mr. Fry gives $126. So our total amount of money, I'll show on a bar diagram, the total amount is $126. And I know that he's distributing that equally among his four children. So on my tape diagram, I will have four sections. One, two, three, four. And what I need to figure out is in each section, how much did each child make of that $126? So from this tape diagram, I can see that I, my total amount is 126, and I'm actually dividing that up into four equal parts. Since this is money, I'm going to put a decimal and add two zeros, since that's how we show money. So I can see that 4 goes into 12 three times. When I subtract, there's nothing left over, so I'll bring down the 6. 4 goes into 6 once. Subtract the 4. Bring down the 2. 4 cannot go into 2, so I'm going to need to bring down the 0. And because I brought down that 0, I will definitely need to use this decimal. 4 goes into 25 times. And again, because it's money, I would put a 0 at the end because we always have two decimal places after the decimal for money. So this tells me that each child received $31.50. That's my answer for the first part. B tells us that John, the oldest child, paid his siblings to do his chores. If John pays his allowance equally to his brother and two sisters, how much money will each of his siblings have received in all? I'm going to have to put some information towards these words in this one. I know that if John pays his allowance, I know his allowance is $31.50 because I figured that out in part A. And he's sharing it equally to his brother and two sisters. That tells me that it'll be three kids who are getting that money. So in my tape diagram, the total amount that's going to be split up is $31.50 between three children. So to figure out how much each of the siblings will receive for in all, first I need to figure out how, they'll receive, how much they'll receive from John. So I'm going to divert, divide my $31.50 by three of those children. Three goes into three once. When I subtract three, I have nothing left over. Bring down the one. Three cannot go into one. So I'm going to put a zero in my answer and bring down the five now. But I can't forget about that decimal. Three can now go into 15. It goes in five times. When it goes in, there's nothing left. Because it's money, again, I'm going to bring my zero up. So this tells me that each of the kids from John will receive $10.50. So... I want to figure out how much each of his siblings will have received in all. So from Mr. Fry, the ch children get $31.50. From John, they're going to get another $10.50. So when I add that up, each child will get $42 in all. The important thing to remember when solving word problems is to just break apart the words into the information that you know. As you're doing your work, just keep going back to the words to what they tell you to make sure that it makes sense. If you're not sure, you can always check all of your work. For part A, when I figured out that each child of the four children will receive $31.50, I knew that the total was $126, so I can check that math. If one of them is getting $31.50, four of them getting it, I know that's going to have to equal 126. Let's check our math. Four times zero is zero. Four times five is 20. Four times one is four plus two is six. Four times three is 12. One, two jumps for my decimal. 
$126, so it works. The same can be said for down here when I was dividing for John's amount of money. If I figured out that each of the three will get $10.50, if I have $10.50 for one of them, for three of them, when I multiply it, it should come out to $31.50. Let's check our math. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 3 times 3 is 3. Decimal place is 2 spots. $31.50. It checks out.